In our last video, we investigated what has been described by many as YouTube's biggest scam. And why should I explain to you who and what they are when I can let your favorite YouTube creator do it instead? Today's video is brought to you by our friends over at Established Titles. Established Titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom. This official certificate making you a real lord or lady. Like on a credit card, plane ticket, or even a dating profile. And that means as of today, that's right. I'm officially a lord. Established Titles is possibly one of the largest scam operations in YouTube history, and somehow they managed to score sponsorship deals with some of YouTube's largest and most respected creators. People like Someone Near Gamers, Penguin Zero, and Patrick CC, just to name a few. And whilst last video we investigated whether Established Titles was even a scam to begin with, today we've been lucky enough to get our hands on a response directly from Established Titles themselves, which to my knowledge has not been publicly dissected on YouTube yet. So stick around to be the first to find out where they took a step in the right direction direction, or whether they dug themselves an even deeper grave. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist, I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today, we'll be taking a look into Established Tile's response to the information I shared in my last video titled, Is This YouTube's Biggest Scam? But before we go any further, here's a quick summary of the events that led up to this moment. On the 21st of November, cartoon YouTuber Valisky Bum would publish a video titled, Is Established Titles a Scam Sponsorship on YouTube? And during the three minute video, he would provide a brief summary of why Established Titles is not only a ripoff, but also a scam. Fast forward three days, and a smaller CoffeeZilla inspired YouTuber called Scott Schaefer would go on to publish a further in-depth 14-minute video exposing established titles for being quote a total scam. If you've watched a video from Graham Stephan, Andre Jick, Some Ordinary Gamers, or The Quartering in the past year, you've probably seen a sponsorship from the company Established Titles. Now, despite glowing reviews from some of YouTube's largest and most trusted creators, this company is a complete scam. Scott's video had main points discussing how the Lord and Lady title is fake, the dodgy business practices of the owners of established titles, as well as how the company operates out of China and doesn't even have a headquarters in Scotland. And this, this is where I come into the story. On the 27th of November, I would go on to publish a video titled, Is This YouTube's Biggest Scam? And throughout the video, I took evidence for and against established titles in order to allow the viewer to make an educated decision for themselves. And based on a poll around on my community tab, around 92% of you believe established titles to be a complete scam. So this brings us to today. Within 24 hours of the established titles call-out videos, they'll send out an emergency letter to all of their sponsored creators, one of which has actually sent me an exact copy of what they received. And whilst I will break the letter down now, I've also placed a copy of the full PDF in my Discord server, which will be linked in the pinned comment below. But before we go any further, I want to let you know that although established titles has attempted to sponsor me multiple times in the past, I've never actually worked with them and I hold no connection with them whatsoever. Established titles letter starts out by attempting to deflect any accountability by addressing the critique videos as quote targeted completely unfounded attacks based on bogus claims unquote and then proceeds to use the classic defense that the attacks were executed just in an attempt to gain views they follow this up by essentially thanking all the people who haven't called them out in this quote cruel and vicious attempt to cancel and to slander them unquote in the next part they say that they are shocked that he who i assumed is directed to scott schaefer warped the already public information to attack other creators established titles then makes their first actual good point in the document by stating how they their intention of the product was to be a fun gift meant for a good laugh. The next point made is that criticism is quote deeply offensive and undermines their work, as well as the work from charities and other creators, and that in the past two years they believe they've done more preservation work in Scottish woodlands than anyone else they know of, which would be a great point if they had some more evidence to back it up. As one of the things I said to defend established titles in my last video was their efforts and contributions to charity that genuinely do God's work when it comes to the environment. And if they were seen they've clearly donated and helped plant trees around the world, there hasn't been a huge lot of evidence revealed that specifically covers Scotland. Their next point is arguably the best point they've made in the entire document, as they go on to state how they've donated over 2 million trees worth of money and have signed contracts promising to preserve the land they acquire in its natural state, and how them being cancelled will make this work a lot harder. And whilst the last couple of points have been somewhat solid, established titles still seem to be in complete denial of the fact that they messed up, ignoring one of the main arguments for them being a scam, that being with the misadvertising of their titles. And rather than facing the truth directly, Directly, the letter goes on a weird tangent shouting out one of their investors, William Wolfram, who as a side note was exposed for making his fortune via a dodgy bidding site called Dildash, a site that has been outed by scam on several occasions. But rather than making established titles look more human, it makes them look even more out of touch, especially when they go on to try and make us feel bad for their investor for having a quote multi-million dollar loss on established titles. Now when some people were calling out established titles, they tried to use the fact that their founder lives in China against them, which was later addressed in the letter 
with Kat, the co-founder of established titles, stating that creators using their location as a tool to quote witch hunt them is mean and hurtful. The document then ended by stating that nothing new is brought to light and that they never claimed the certificates to grant the right to rule or make a customer any member of any royal family, as well as mentioning that they're willing to refund or cancel any established titles order and still plant a tree. And this leads us into the final sentence of the letter, which quotes, if you want to cancel any existing bookings or future contracts with us, we'll accept all cancellations without question, but with great regret. Which is certainly good news for any creators who promoted it in the past or were in a situation like Tov, where they signed a contract promising to promote it in the future, but wanted to pull out without severe legal problems. In my last video, I made a point of established titles donating to charities in order to plant trees. And after posting that video, I found that many of you commented that there was no proof of the shady business planting trees in the first place. But I disagree. By going onto the established titles website, you can see that there's not only a counter for the amount of trees planted, but you can actually go onto the Trees for the Future website to see a dedicated page displaying that established titles has indeed planted over 2 million trees. Shortly after I published my video on established titles, a YouTube channel going by the name of Trolley's Guitar Show would upload a video defending the business called In Regards to Established Titles. Throughout the video, Austin would rebut some of the points in Scott Schaefer's video, ultimately claiming that he made a clickbait video in the goal of gaining subscribers, and that people who believe it are sheep. So, in conclusion, this whole video is just him doing very basic surface level research, putting a clickbaity title that'll get people to click. I think when he posted this, he had 40,000 subscribers. He's almost got a million views on this video, and I'm sure it's gonna continue to blow up because of the sheep mentality of people going, oh yeah, it's a scam, it's a scam. Another one of Austin's points was that the title was never meant to be official. And the whole Laird thing was never meant to be official. It is just based on a historic land ownership custom. So I think this is where people are getting a little bit confused there because it does say land ownership about this particular vintage custom. But this statement becomes extremely ironic when you check his previous upload, which happens to be sponsored by established titles, as well as clearly uses the word official when referring to the certificate. I jokingly called my seven string flying V Lord Genmo, but with their help, it's actually official. Now, can you move to Scotland and build on your land? No. No, they're trying to preserve the natural beauty, not destroy it. Although later in the video he'd make amends by creating a new ad that didn't claim the certificate to be official, his involvement with taking payments from established titles in the first place puts him in a biased position when discussing the topic. And with the video having over 3.1 thousand dislikes compared to just 2.2 thousand likes, it seems like the viewers noticed that too, with a comment from Gustavo stating, quote, they pay YouTubers incredibly well, unquote says a lot to me. Within less than 24 hours of the video being published, he would unlist it, presumably because of the negative feedback he received in the comments, or maybe even because he agreed with some of his audience's arguments. Whilst overall established titles doing great things with charities, the whole business concept could be compared to another type of shady business trend where people are able to purchase and name stars. And although none of the creators who promoted the business had bad intent, as time passes we have seen more and more YouTubers cut ties and have apologized for promoting what has been outed as a scam. What did you guys think of established titles' response to the criticism. Do you think this is a step in the right direction or did they just dig their grave even deeper? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe for more.